Today I will make another interesting video about this. This is a metal-free lithium-ion battery from the company called Saku, and I will make my version of this battery. A metal-free battery is actually a battery without any metal current collectors. So, in a typical lithium-ion battery, you have metal current collectors which are made from copper and aluminium. But in a metal-free lithium-ion battery version, the copper and the aluminium is replaced with some another conductive material, like for example some conductive plastic. But everything else in that cell is more or less the same. So with this method, by replacing copper and aluminium with another type of material, it's possible to reduce the price and also the weight of that cell. And if we look into inside of some lithium-ion battery cell, like this one for example, then we will find this. So over here you can see two electrodes. So this electrode is the positive electrode and is made from aluminium foil, which is coated with the positive active material. Then on another side is the negative electrode, which is made from copper foil, which is coated with graphite. So the graphite is here for intercalation the lithium ions. And this is the separator, which is made from cell guard. But a metal-free lithium-ion battery, like I said before, they don't use any metal current collectors, but they need to have some sort of current collector anyway. For this reason, a metal current collectors are replaced with some another type of conductive material. And using some conductive plastics is actually one of the possible options. So over here I have some conductive HDP plastic. And why I have two pieces is because one conductive HDP will be used for the positive current collector and then another one will be used for the negative current collector. But sadly, because I don't have the materials and also the equipment for making some lithium-ion battery, for this reason this will be only for example, that you get the idea how some metal-free lithium-ion battery can be made. And like you already know, some metal-free lithium-ion battery, like all other batteries, they have the positive and also the negative electrode. And if I start with the positive electrode, the positive electrode in some metal-free lithium-ion battery is made from metal-free current collector, in my case will be this conductive HDP, and this conductive HDP will have some coating from active material, like for example NMC or LFP material. So, which uh, active material is used will depend on the chemistry. And the negative electrode is also made from metal-free current collector, which also in my case I will use another conductive HDP. But this conductive HDP is coated with some graphite. So this graphite uh, will intercalate the lithium ions. But it's also possible to make some lithium-ion battery without this graphite layer. Then in this case, when the cell is charging, some lithium metal will start to plate on the surface of this conductive HDP. But in this case, it's also possible that the cell will get some problems with lithium dendrites, which then in the cell need to be used at some special separator, which will prevent any shortings made by dendrites. Okay, here is my positive and also my negative electrode. Now what I need will be some spacer. And this spacer is actually made from some polypropylene uh, foil. And this spacer will go on one of the electrodes. So this spacer will prevent uh, that the positive and also the negative electrode will not touch together. But here in the middle is of course the coating of the active material. And also here in the middle will come some separator which is also wetted with some lithium salt electrolyte. And on the top is put some negative electrode, like so. And the final step is of course sealing of the entire cell. 
and because here I use some conductive HDP and also some polypropylene uh, foil. For this reason, uh, welding together all these materials with some heat or with some iron, for example, is really, really easy. So you can only use some iron and you can weld all these four corners and that's it. Then in the end, the cell is ready for charging. So yeah, like I said before, this was only for example that you get the idea how a metal free lithium ion battery can be made. But because I'm not able to play with some lithium ion batteries, for this reason, instead of using some lithium, I will use some zinc. And now is the time for making this metal free zinc battery. And the chemistry which I will use will be some zinc bromine. And yeah, to be honest, in the past I already made some step-by-step -step video where I constructed together some metal freezing bromine battery, but the video is of course on my Patreon. So with joining the Patreon or the members, you will also support this channel. So for this cell I will need two pieces of conductive HDP, one for the positive, another for the negative current collector, a separator two more of zinc bromide electrolyte um, and of course some spacer. So the first thing what I will do, I will weld this uh, plastic foil with uh, this conductive HDP in one corner with this vacuum welder. Like so, this will be fine. And over here I also prepare my positive active motiva. So this active motiva is actually made from activated uh, carbon powder, which is mixed together with the electrolyte. And actually that's it. Because now this active material, I need to coat into this area. Okay, that's it. Now I will weld together this and also this corner. On the top I will put the separator. Not too much. And the negative current collector. So at this moment I have all these three corners sealed and now what I need to do, I need to push the air out from the cell. And 
before I make the vacuum seal. So at this moment I have all four corners sealed with this vacuum sealer. Now if you want, you can also make much better seal with some iron. And over here is my metal free zinc cell. So in this stage, if you want to make some battery out from these kind of cells, then of course you will put together multiple of these cells to form some voltage which you actually need. But you need to remember that the first cell and also the last cell you need to support with some metal current collectors. Like so. So right now in my case I have now only one cell but when you make some battery then in this case you have here multiple cells. So because this cell is some zinc bromine cell, for this reason uh, the cell voltage is 1.8 volts and, and I will charge the cell with 2.1 volt and the current I will limit to 300 milliamps. And now the cell is charging. Okay, I think that 10 minutes of charging will be enough. I still have 186 uh, milliamps, but I will disconnect the cell over here. Now, first, I will check the voltage. This moment is 1.9 volts, but will settle down to 1.8. And I can also check the current. So here I will make this short uh, current test. 2.3 amps. Which is actually not so bad because I don't use a large amount of active material. So guys, here is this metal free zinc cell. So definitely the entire concept of making some cell without any metals or without any metal current collectors is really interesting idea because definitely you can reduce the cost and also the weight of the entire cell. But in the end, I still think that uh, this kind of cell design need to be improved even further because the performance of the entire cell also depends how good is the conductivity of the current collectors. And over here I use the conductive HDP, which the conductivity in Z direction 
is actually not bad but also not so good and for this reason uh, the cell have some room for improvements and for everybody which want to make this kind of cell but they don't have the conductive HDP so in this case you can replace the conductive HDP with some graph hole so when you use some graph hole then in this case you I mean your cell will not be flexible like this one but still will perform really really well because the conductivity of the z-direction of the graph wall is way way better like the conductivity of the conductive HDP and the plastic foil which is actually the spacer will also work on the graph wall really really well so that's it about this project and actually if you want to have a little bit more information about uh, metal free lithium ion batteries and of course the Saku company then all the links will be in the video description so you can check the Saku uh, which which uh, have some development on this kind of metal free lithium ion batteries that's it for now and we see us in the next video bye